top headlines for the day. Television serials are a platform for the world to know about the telly stars and their personal life too. Yes, these days the small screen is as glamorous as the real screen and so when one telly star gets engaged to another, it becomes big news. Obviously, when the Yejo Hai Mohabate co-stars Divyanka Tripathi and Vivek Dahiya got engaged, the fans and viewers were quite kicked and excited. One, they rooting for these two to be together always and now they would soon say their I do's also in style, hai na? With both families really okay with their relation, we now wait eagerly to see their shadi ka vows coming true and them say ye jo hai mohabate, hai na? Okay, for all who are up for a tough stand with the divas of Bollywood, Pariniti just proved that when it comes to woman power, it kills. Yeah, look at her swelled body and just get it into your head that when girls wanna, they just blast it. Add to this the plum role in YRF banner Dhoom 4 and Pariniti is way on to becoming a star soon, hai na? Yes, so for those who were wondering why she wasn't chosen for the other YRF movies, here is the news that she would be signing up for the Dhoom sequel and considering that we already have had Aishwarya's and Katrina's and Isha showing their spunk, this flick sure would give Pari a royal welcome, what say? Meanwhile, Pariniti is booming into the headlines with her amazing board and now with her super role, we know everything is just falling into the right slots for the Ishak Zade gal, hai na? Oh ho, when it comes to Ranbir and Katrina, everyone steps back and takes a note, hai na? What with their lovely Jodi hogging headlines and their love pad, the Sino shore of all paparazzi. So what went wrong that the wedding bells never rang end of 2015 as planned? Well, we get to see the big split of Bollywood in the beginning of 2016 and suddenly got used to hearing about Ranbir and Katrina staying separate. Isn't that really shocking? And so the media decided to ask how Ranbir's dad Rishi Kapoor the dancing Joe felt. Would you believe it? He just said he has nothing to comment on it right now. Oh la, is that what a frank one like Rishi would say? So does that mean he's as rattled as us about the issue or is it that he knows more than he can say? Whatever it is, we are waiting, Rishi ji. Whoa, when it comes to film launches and mentoring a new kid on the block, leave it to Salman Khan. Yes, maybe his bodyguard of 20 years realizes this and took a decision to refuse a southern director who had asked Shera's son Tiger to be a part of his flick with a southern heroine. However, loyalty is won and Shera refused the offer and stuck to the Salu camp. Shera's son Tiger is an assistant director in the filming of Sultan and is getting considerable experience and maybe Salman feels that he should get considerable exposure and be groomed for getting a launch. Well, if you know about Salman's support, we do know that he would go out of his way for people he loves and we sure expect him to do the same for Shera's son, hai na? As for Salman and Sultan, well, we only know that he's working hard on it and now we wish to see his bodyguard's son in action, what say? We do know that Kya Cool Hai Hum 3 is being promoted vigorously in so many television serials. Off late, didn't we see it being promoted in Big Boss 9? So now get set and zoom into Tellyland as the Poncom stars would now come on the telly serial Ye Hai Mohabate. The actors would also be seen dancing to some peppy numbers with Ishita and Raman and offer their bit of comedy to keep the interest quotient of the serial as well as the film going janta. Great, what say? And then we wonder what would the television janta say to the porncom being featured on a national show? Salman Khan and Yulia Vantour are very much in news and aren't we so happy to see the two always together? Yes, and with the rumours of them being not so together, this is surely good news for us, hai na? Well, the show called The Farm is going to have contestants working on a farm and ensuring hardship as the quotient to determine the winners. So the show is going to be hosted by Yulia and Salman and knowing Salman's penchant for farming and his activities, we do know he's going to do really well in the show, what say?
As for the jodi, well, they rock any which way, and truly, it is worth seeing this show only to see the camaraderie and pyar between them. Recently, they are in the news for their constant nook joke. However, this is surely going to be a crowd puller, so all fans of Bhai can well be prepared for a good time. OMG! Did you even think that our Bhai Salman can do something wrong? Yeah, he's just being human, and he too has a life. So what happened that we are telling you all this? Well, this is what happened in the recent Big Boss episode where he was interacting with the Kya Cool Hai Hum Three team and was asked a rapid fire question session. Yeah, and one of them was if he was ever caught watching an Esa Vesa film, to which Salu, with a twinkle in his eyes, replied, "Affirmative." Can you beat that? Salman too watches porn. Ha! And he was caught. So if all of you thought that Salman was all about being out of reach, then get it upright and personal from the boy himself that he has his share of being naughty and normal. Meanwhile, we wonder what gives Bhai the spunk and the attitude to carry off all this with ease and comfort, hai na? Oh ho! When it comes to Ranbir and Katrina, everyone steps back and takes note, hai na? What with their lovely Jodi hogging headlines and their love pad, the Sino Shore of all paparazzi. So what went wrong that the wedding bells never rang at the end of 2015 as planned? Talking about the same, a source told a leading daily, Deepika Padukone had nothing to do with their split. Ranbir Kapoor's refusal to commit was one of the reasons why the couple decided to split. We all know that Ranbir Kapoor's family was unhappy when Ranbir left their house to live with Katrina. Recently, when the news of Katrina Kaif calling Rishi Kapoor Papa came out, Rishi gave a very shocking reply and said that Katrina would not dare to take such liberties with him. Well, a source also confirmed that Ranbir Kapoor's parents played a very important role in the breakup.